Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a loft declutter video for you. So the time has come, I need to start decluttering and organizing what is up in the loft. If you've just stumbled across this video, I am in the process of a loft conversion project. So I'm actually due to be starting works in January next year. So I've got a bit of time, but I do want to make a start because the loft is pretty jam-packed. It's full of things that have been put up there over the past 10 years. So there's all kinds of stuff up there. And there was actually a few bits up in the loft when we moved in as well. So there's a few remaining things up there from uh, previous owners too. So I've got a lot of work to do. So before we get into the video, if you're new here, do click subscribe. I post new videos every single week. And I'm going to create a loft renovation playlist as well. So I'll link that down in the description box for you. Because there's quite a lot of decluttering to do, I want to break it down. So I'm not gonna try and do the whole loft today. Lofts are usually quite dusty dark, dirty and usually either quite hot or quite cold because the temperature um, situation up there is never great so they're not somewhere that I want to be spending too much time um, up in so I'm going to be breaking down the declutter process so I'm going to just do a little bit today and I'll keep you updated as to sort of how I'm getting on as well. And before we get into the video, I want to say thank you to Readly for sponsoring this video. Readly is a digital magazine subscription service. So it's a little bit like Spotify, but for magazines that you can then access on your smartphone or tablet. I've been absolutely loving it for the home and interior magazines, which has been giving me lots of inspiration for the loft. So I'll tell you a little bit more about that later on. But quick sip of the coffee, and it's time to get cracking with the first stage of the declutter. Can you tell that I'm slightly dreading this? So here we are in the loft. I'm feeling overwhelmed already. I'm looking around and there is an awful lot of stuff here. And something's dripping. It's kind of creepy up here. wait for it to be all nice <laughs> there's something flying around as well oh dear okay so you may remember when I did a quick overview of the space that there's a lot of suitcases up here so I thought one idea would be to fill maybe one or two of the suitcases as a start and see how that goes I'm spotting some things already and I'm just thinking it's so old some of the stuff here I mean have a look at this in this box, we have a camcorder. <laughs> so this is what I would have filmed on probably over 10 years ago, probably 20 years ago. So when I was at college, I used to make videos on this. <laughs> and it is, what is it? Just says mini DV. It's a Thompson digital camcorder, but I did have this at college and it had the little flip out screen. I mean, that bit, quite modern you could still vlog with that I guess do the old school version <laughs> and these are the tapes that went in it so hmm I'm not sure what to do with all these mini DVD tapes because just junk isn't it do I want to get them transferred maybe I don't know see what's on them also have here some running medals I don't know what they're doing up here and a lot of tools I need to actually get started this is what happens you get distracted don't you I forgot I had that haven't seen it for all this time but now I'm worried about what to do with the tapes we have a cassette tape here and I have no idea what that is either and just to give you the overview this is the situation that we're dealing with Wow it's a lot I don't know how well you can see me, but I'm starting with these shelves, which have various boxes of various stuff in them. Oh, <laughs> I've just found the Easter box. I mean, I feel like we're going to end up getting distracted. I'm going to put this over with the Christmas decorations so that then 
at least decorative stuff is all in one place. It really doesn't help that there's not a proper floor in here yet as well. So I'm literally walking across the rafters while I'm trying to sort this, which is not ideal at all. So here we have some walking boots. <laughs> Can you see? They're probably not going to be used up in the loft. I don't know if they're going to be used at all. They were only cheap and cheerful ones from Carrymore, but I did use them to climb up a mountain. <laughs> I'm going to put them into the suitcase and they can go down and I'll either put them with some other boots or get rid. I certainly don't need to be up here. Okay, let's start filling up a suitcase. Wow, does anybody recognize this? This is a tube of Smarties. So this is from back in the days when Smarty tubes were around. We'll have a closer look at that when we take it downstairs. Oh my goodness, the dust. Look at this. Oh, this is full of old VHSs. So I feel like we can definitely get rid of some of these. I'm going to transfer them into a different box just because this box is so disgusting. And some Vans laces, how random. Now I'm going to take a couple of these empty crates. <laughs> and I'm just gonna place these on top of the shelf so I've got them to hand if I need to fill any more up for things to go. So the top shelf now has empty boxes. We like that. And here is what I'm going to deal with today. So we have the VHS play and the VHSs and then a suitcase full of stuff. And look at this lighting. <laughs> oh yes, um, we're living the dream, aren't we? So um, I'm gonna take this lot down. Doesn't seem like a lot, does it? I realize it's not a lot compared to the amount of stuff that's up here. But I'm going to try and do this in kind of stages. So I think a next stage will be after today where I've got some fiddly bits to go through. I want to be getting rid of big pieces. So that will be where I take out any furniture that's up here and decide whether to keep it or sell it. I also want to do a trip to the dump. So I want to be taking anything that can't be sort of sold on or donated and get rid of anything that literally just needs to be thrown um, onto the skip. The things up here like hoovers that don't properly work. And then, yeah, bulky pieces as well. Like there's lots of wood, there's an old ladder, there's an old banister rail, stuff like that as well will need to go in kind of a separate attempt as well where I'll need a bit of help with that. So yeah, I'm doing some smaller items first, but actually I think these are the more tricky ones. I feel like it's anything that maybe has a little bit of sentimental value or yeah, just things that you've sort of hung on to for years but not realized or thought about why. <laughs> um, I'm gonna deal with those, get those out of the way, and then um, I feel like the bigger pieces will be a lot easier to deal with. But yeah, it's really not the most pleasant up here. I'm already covered in dust. I can feel it in the back of my throat now. And yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs, put the kettle on, and get sorting through this lot. It's emergency banana time. <laughs> oh man, that is a lot up there, isn't it? But I feel like if we break it down and do it in kind of manageable little bits like this, I think it's gonna be okay. I've got a few months to get this done, don't forget. So um, the plan is to go through all the stuff that I've just bought down. So I have a suitcase full of random, I have a box full of VHSs, I have a VHS player. Do some of you even know what VHSs are? Maybe you don't, maybe, <laughs> maybe you've been born after VHSs stopped being a thing. Um, yeah, so emergency banana time. I'm gonna relax for a little bit. I've made myself, hello motorbike, made myself a coffee. And I'm just gonna regroup, relax for a bit before I get cracking on the next stage.
I always feel better after a banana and a cup of coffee. So as I mentioned earlier, today's sponsor is Readly. So Readly is a subscription service for magazines on your phone. So it kind of works, imagine it a bit like Spotify, but for magazines. So you actually get access to over 5,000 national and international magazine titles across all different genres. The one that I particularly like is the Homes and gardens magazines so i've been having a good browse through some of those it's been giving me lots of inspiration for the loft so one of the magazines i've been looking at is called home building and renovating have a look at this bathroom can you imagine i mean our beams aren't quite as spectacular as those ones but that is beautiful i don't think there's going to be space for a roll top bath up there but one can dream. And not just for the loft, I've been having a look at other areas of the home as well. This kitchen has certainly caught my eye. Oh my goodness, that looks incredible. I'd love to get a sink like that. I love the fact that you can also go through previous issues as well. So if you do have a favourite magazine, you can browse through different issues, see what catches your eye on the magazine covers and then go through them that way. As you can see, there's loads of different magazine titles to choose from. We have all these different home and garden ones too. I love looking at country living as well. I have loved that magazine since I was a kid. Let's have a little look at the autumn. I mean, look at that table. I'd love to create something like that out on the roof garden. We have the ultimate guide to kitchens, the ultimate guide to bathrooms, dream kitchen, dream home, so many different titles to choose from here and a great way to get some inspiration. I find that often, sometimes you'll pick up your phone, won't you, and you're just scrolling through Instagram or scrolling through Twitter without really giving it much thought as to what you're looking at. So I love the fact that I've got all of these magazine titles in my pocket now. This is a really nice way to just spend um, some time flicking through some of these titles. We've got Classic Christmas, 645 festive ideas. Look at that wreath. Okay, I'm gonna definitely spend some time going through this in fine detail and getting some inspiration for all the Christmas stuff. I know it's a bit early, but we must get prepared. Oh, here's one that I could probably <laughs> do with at the moment. Declutter your life. As well as the homes and gardens magazines, there's loads of different kinds to choose from. There's things like health, food, fashion, lifestyles. There's something for everybody. And the great thing is you can have different profiles on it as well. So you could sign up different members of your family to each have access to it on up to five devices. The other great thing with Readly is of course, we then don't have lots of magazines cluttering up our home, which being in the middle of the lofty clutter, I am here for at the moment. It's £7.99 a month usually, but you can get the first month for free and if you sign up in October, in the first two weeks of October, you will get your first two months for free and then it's £7.99 a month after that. So a really nice way to relax and spend some quality time on your phone or tablet and also get some inspirations for any hobbies that you may have. I also spied they had quite a few good craft titles on there as well. So if you want to reinvestigate maybe a crafting kind of hobby, there's some fab titles in there for that too. So I will leave all the information down in the description box if you want to check out Readly for yourself and thanks again to Readly for sponsoring this video. Okay quick sip of the coffee <laughs> and now it's time for part two of today's declutter which is going to be going through all the bits that I've brought down from the loft. Let's see what's in the bag. I filled this one, this suitcase, can you see? Yeah that's okay isn't it? So let's go through everything in here. We have a tennis racket haven't played tennis in forever. Maybe I will bring back playing tennis. Got some really nice tennis courts nearby. I'm gonna put this in the boiler room. If I haven't played tennis in the next month or two, it's gonna go. We have some quite random things. This is from one of my travels. We have Pikachu, <laughs> all the way from Japan. I don't know why this ended up in the loft. This, I think I'm actually going to use because I really like this, so yeah. We'll bring that back into use in the home. Walking boots, I'm going to put these with my boots and yeah, I mean, these are decent ones, so I probably should hang on to those. I think I just put them up in the loft because they weren't used regularly. So, not really getting rid of anything, am I? <laughs> this is what happens. We have a random box here. This pencil case I've had since I was probably 
15 or so, I think. It's from Paper Chase. I'm going to get rid because I just don't need that. So that's going to the charity shop. Have some more little um, souvenirs from Japan. So I've kind of kept these because they're quite sweet. So this is Studio Ghibli. And so is this. And I do really like these, but I'm just not sure where to put them or what to do with them. So maybe I'll create like a little travel box of memories and put them all together, maybe with some photographs or some albums, that sort of thing. Because, yeah, I do love these little guys, but they've just been hidden up in the loft. And we have an old tin. We've got some old cards, some old key rings. I'll just go through these, but I think I'm probably going to shred all of them. Um, because yeah, I think as nice as they are, either they'll go into a scrapbook or I'll shred them and I'll get rid of the tin. So let's get rid of the tin now. Okay, this is quite random. I forgot um, all about this. This is actually an old tile, very old tile that actually um, I found near to my parents' home. There's actually an old abbey nearby and it matches the tiles in the abbey. I might take this back to them because they could maybe incorporate this in their garden somewhere or something like that. I don't know how it's ended up here, but I feel like that would be quite a nice thing to um, give back to my parents. They can put it in their garden as it's kind of like the history of the village where we're from. DVDs that I don't need any more. Sex and the City, so I'm gonna donate those to the charity shop. This is interesting. I'm not sure what to do with this, but this is a very, very old Smarties tube. Who remembers when they were this size? So it just says milk chocolate beans and Roundtree Macintosh Limited, York, England. There's no date on it, but can any of you let me know what year you think this Smarties tube is from and what you think I should do with it? Is there a museum that that could go to? I don't know what to do with that, but I feel like it's so old that maybe it's kind of collectible or something. Let me know what you think. And here we have, oh, some wine glasses. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing up there. But anyway, I think I'll just donate these to the charity shop. I've already got plenty of wine glasses. They're quite nice ones, but I have got plenty already. Maybe I was just keeping them up there as spare ones. Um, but yeah, don't have room for them, so they can go. Okay, and finally we have the VHS player and we have a box full of VHSs. So what I'm going to do is go through all of these and see what's on them. And then I have actually got here the video uh, connector. So this is to capture um, VHS video onto a laptop. Um, so I'll figure out how that works and then run off all of these videos. If that bit of technology doesn't work, then I will take them down to Snappy Snaps, I think, and I've seen that they do a video for 7.99 to DVD, so that will do, um, and then get rid of all of this. So that's going, and then I'll just get rid of the VHS player, donate all of that. So most of this stuff is going, which I'm very pleased with, as we don't want to be cluttering up the rest of the house. So a couple of bits for the memory box. Let me know about the Smarties tube. A few bits going to charity. If you don't see me playing tennis in a vlog anytime soon, remind me that that needs to go. And sort out all the VHSs. First lot is done. Not too bad. I mean, there's a lot more to go. So let me know if you want me to keep you updated on the decluttering process as I do it. I'm not sure how interesting these videos are, but we never know what I'll come across up there. So there may even be like the odd upcycle if I find any bits I want to reintroduce into the home as well. But who knows, because <laughs> to be honest, I've forgotten what's up there. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and the start of the declutter process of the loft. If you did, do give this video a little thumbs up. And if you're new here, do click subscribe. I post new videos every single week. Don't forget, you can always catch me over on Instagram. It's Mr. Carrington or Mr. Carrington Home. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to Readly for sponsoring this video. All of their information will be in the description box down below. So do head over there to get your free month trial and Remember that there is the offer to get two months free if you do sign up in the first two weeks of October. So thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.